Okay, in this installment, we're going to do a little bit of electrical, how to switch out um, old switches for new ones. We haven't turned off the breaker yet, so we're going to walk you through it. But always be prepared with your tools. So we have our tools laid out here. Got some wire strippers, two different high voltage insulated screwdrivers, a flathead and a Phillips. A regular Phillips, and of course our trusty electric tester. That way we can see what voltage we have. Okay, so we're using a little flathead screwdriver, of course, just to remove the, the plate cover. See, this is an old timer. It just doesn't work properly and is really confusing for the homeowners. Usually on regular switches and stuff, when you do it on the side, you can get the, the electric to come through on your circuit tester. But on this one, it's got this panel that's reading hey the power's on red you know stop your power's on green your power's off so the power's coming through there so we're going to turn off the breaker we'll be right back all right he's locating the proper breaker Problem is back there the breakers aren't labeled correctly. That's it. There we go. We found it. We'll be right back. Okay. Now he's taking out the, the old switch. If you guys can't always use an insulated screwdriver, these are rated up to 400 volts, I think. Especially if you're working in a breaker box live or even in a switch box live, you really need to have some insulated tools. Okay, no power coming in, so it's safe to undo. This, of course, is your power coming in. The other was your switch leg going out to the, the light fixture. And that other one was capped off, if you could tell. remove the last one which is the ground and as you can tell there isn't much ground to work with in here that's the problem with a lot of houses is people don't leave enough wire to do anything which you're supposed to on code areas you're supposed to leave about six inches of wire to pass inspection This one you can't see, but this white wire here, this is your neutral. This one was the power coming in, black, called common. And this one is your switch leg or power out. This one power out to the, to the light fixture outside. Okay. Okay, 
what we did while we were gone is we put an extension or a pigtail on the ground because we just didn't have enough wire to work with and we straightened up the copper that was there on the switch leg in the common and we went ahead and re-looped it same thing there we re-looped it <clears throat> I don't know if you can see but when you make your loops you don't want your loops to go back past the insulation and I'll show you that in a minute but we always make our loops and we always use the screw ends as much as possible we don't like to use the stab ends unless we have to because they're not near as reliable okay so we're ready to put this in Yeah, we start <clears throat> with your ground. Okay, it's in. If you guys, I don't know if you can see that on your ground, there's a little tab, a catch. And you want to make sure that you're in that catch and close to the screw as you can. Tighten it up. And the top, we try to always do power out on the top of the switch, power in on the bottom of the switch. So he's attaching the power out or the switch leg that goes up to the light fixture. Now he's attaching the power in or the common. give it an extra tighten down because you don't want things to come loose those of you who've done this a few times I know y'all have noticed over the last few years the screws that come with these switches and plates and receptacles they're not worth a dang anymore they always you can strip the heads out of them so quickly because they're so soft made in China of course you all can tell he had to switch to a flathead to get some pork on it because the, the Phillips these days just don't do it without tearing up the screw heads You can see that is in. He'll put the plate cover on. That way we can test to make sure it is as plumb to the door casing as we could possibly get it. And once we make sure of that he'll go back down, go back in there and crank down the the switch. And that's, that's it. See, look how plumb it is. Even. Okay, guys. We'll see y'all later.